Yes, y'all, Jigga man be ballin', leave chicks pigeon toes, some of them be crawlin', get the best of you whenever I put my all in, uh. have mommy's callin', fall along, <laughs> Jigga and Paulin, ass drop. Uh, okay, I don't know what Niggas mad that. cause I brag about the cash Listen. I got But I'm used to not having a yacht I'm from the gutter and uh I ain't the type to ever chase your box I'm the type to interior decorate the watch I'm the type to sling heavyweight on the block Yo, you won't ever jump in. Yo, I don't want to jump lips in. Start telling me Yo, yes. All I want to say is that. Sink. Listen, uh, I was gonna get into it. We'll, we'll, we'll bring in uh, our friends here, but but Troy's interior, gonna have the ad parts because he never jumps in when I need him to. Like I need you to be my hype man. Like, I didn't smoked a little bit before we got here. I'm losing breath and I'm pointing to you and you just like looking at me like a deer caught in damn headlights. No, no. <laughs> what, what, what I was doing was um, I was looking at you and realizing like, yo, this girl doesn't stop fucking spitting. But then I was like, yo, I'll hit you with a couple of uhs and a uh, uh, and a cheer. And then I was <laughs> like, yo, I'm not doing Maya. Like, Maya was on that, right? You know. I, I, I just needed you I'm, to hit that I'm high not doing no Maya, <laughs> even though Maya is beautiful. Like, Maya was always like a girl that seemed like Maya was the first Rihanna. She was the first right to passage for the rappers. Like, if you didn't fuck Maya, your career was going nowhere. Yeah, but Maya looked a little chipmunkish to me. But I always found her <laughs> beautiful. Like, you know, she didn't have a lot. She didn't have a fat ass. She didn't have, like, a, a big tits or whatever. But she, but she had that so body sexy. and she had the moves. She, had, she, she was sexy. She was, like, the type where, like, if you got drunk and, you know, you weren't wearing a condom and then you just forgot to pull out, it wasn't a bad night. <laughs> <laughs> Go to church on Sunday and things will be better. But. But uh, listen, internet, we're back at it. This is episode what? Nine. Yo, let me tell you something. I told you, after a baker's dozen, I'm not counting no yeah, more Yeah, because you're old. You're starting already starting to lose memory. You was like, what is it, seven? Like, No, no, no. I mean, I a guess little bit. it's not about being old. I think when you have, a, you know, a kids and, you know, when you travel and you have like a, a wife and an ex-wife and child support. Right. But anyway, Preacher Pete is not kicking off this <laughs> fucking episode. This is episode nine. Well. Inter- internet, thank you for joining us. And episode eight was beautiful. It was. Mikey, Mikey likes it. Yeah, I, I like that we had him here, and I just want to be different. It just goes to show uh, what the Premium Pete show is about. Um, you know, Miss Lissa, I, I think it was a, a great chance to, for people to see, like, hey, like we said, not only is this a black guy selling ice cream, but this is just somebody else in our culture selling ice cream and, and really taking it to the next level. I I'm mean, happy you said that, because I was going to say that to you. Like, it, as I listened back to it, I was like, damn, like, Pete really kind of, like, focuses on the fact that this is a black man selling ice cream, but there's not a lot of men or yeah. people other than Briars or Hagen dyes or Ben and Jerry. So whether he was black, white, or green, like this, someone brand new that's trying it and Klondike is coming for his head because they done added new flavors. It's like they know now ever since Hillary Clinton stepped up in the place, it's a haywire for the ice cream people. Briars is like collaborating with like Twix and candy bars and they coming for him. But we gonna unite. 